Hello friends, how's it going? Today I'm going to be opening up this little blister here with Entei Raikun Suicune cards, so let's get into it. Loop, 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 loop. So let's take a look at the promo cards we got here. There's a Raikou, of course. It looks really awesome with that Galaxy Hollow. As you guys know, this is my favorite type of Hollow that Pokemon does. Then we've got an Entei. Entei is my favorite of the three. I've got an Entei in the back. Um, so I just really love this card, of course. It's very dynamic and cool. The problem is, though, on both Entei and Suicune, you can see my Suicune in the back. There, I didn't realize that there was like a little tab thing you know how they put the tabs there just to bend the cards I'm quite sure uh, to hold them in place and packaging and stuff um, it got real bad I just didn't know what was there so I tried taking it out and Suicune just got real wrinkled and it's terrible and I feel awful look at that that's just so ugh. so beware if you get this uh, I'm sure that this is old news by now but it's the first time I saw it in my stores so I figured I'd grab it but this Suicune is still just gorgeous I love this card so much it's a hollow in uh, the breakpoint set, so it's really nice to see as a galaxy hollow as well. Then we've got a coin. I was actually really surprised to see the Mega Aerodactyl coin in there because it was originally just in the premium collection, which I didn't end up buying, and I really love Aerodactyl, so I'm glad that the coin came separately in another thing. There were also other options, but I love Mega Aerodactyl. And then we got just two packs of Pokemon cards. We've got a Steam Siege and a Guardians Rising. A weird pairing, in my opinion, but hey, that is fine with me because we've got a Guardians Rising, which means there's a chance to get a Tapu Lele. But who knows? You never know what's happening with that. Okay, so we're going to do three to the front here because we've got a normal X and Y pack. So we've got an Azumarill, Greedy Dice, Driftlim, Nosepass, Chimchar, Meowth, Hopip, Litwick, a Bisharp Reverse, which is a rare, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's hard to see with the steel uh, in the background. I love the reverse dual types. It is so cool to look at this because it's got both types on there. And then a rare is a Clouds are not hollow. I have so many of those online and in person. It's just like haunting me. I don't, I don't like it when a card haunts people because then that's all you see and it's really sad. So, okay, so here's the last pack of opening. It's not really saying much because there are only two packs in the opening, but hey, it's it's still exciting, I guess. So we've got a Psychic Energy, a Tentacruel, Mallow, a Lulu and Graveler, Whalemur, Beldum, Rockruff, Machop, Trubbish, Talon Filling Reverse, which is a rare, also awesome. It's I'm just having so much trouble looking at these today. And our final rare of the opening is a Garbodor non-hollow. So this opening was kind of a dud, but that's okay. It was two packs, so whatever. Uh, we got a Bishop Reverse Rare and a Talon Flame Reverse Rare. So in both of our packs, we got Reverse Rares, which is fun and exciting. And then we've got our really cool, they're not promos, but they are really cool cards here. So I'll give you guys this Guardians Rising Booster Code so that maybe you can get a Lele, even though I didn't. Uh, comment and let us know what you got so that we know that you've taken it. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll catch you all on the flip side.